Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Cathedral of Velvet podcast. I am your host, as always, Parajusho. Yes, yes, yes. Again, no two weeks has come and passed, and we are getting very close to TGS. By the time of this, by the time this comes out, we'll be about. Uh, this comes out on the Wednesday for Patreon, so it would be well, actually just a uh, just a day away technically but like uh and then on comes out thursday tgs will already be happening because hey it starts on thursday for japan so hey cool so uh yeah uh either there might be you know a 0.5 episode that might come out you know the same week as well or something else uh but yeah we got tgs coming up this week i am very excited for that uh i didn't really get the day off <laughs> like I, I i tried to get the day off but like i was thought like this year maybe not because uh, well we really don't know what the lineup's gonna be we nothing is pretty much expected out of this or everything has already been you know announced for that so you know just we don't really know but um we do have some stuff uh to talk about uh within the past uh two weeks or so so um but n- not much news so this week's uh this week's um episode will be kind of short but you know let's just talk about you know what's been happening you know this past uh two weeks or so so uh last week was my birthday yay uh i i, I, I turned 27 oh my god uh yeah getting getting old now nah, that's just uh that's the thing right that 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 you, you, you really wish, you know, you could just stay young, right? But nope, nope, you, you gotta, gotta keep on going forward, you know, with the world and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, uh, tr- we tried to, uh, I tried, tried to go out to, like, this, uh, to this, uh, hot pot buffet place. Unfortunately, uh, you know, people arrived a little bit later, and I didn't know, like, uh, so this place, like, like, uh, at, at a certain time, they close for a bit for like an hour then they go into dinner like i thought you know like uh uh like they were just you know like as long as you know people are still eating you know you know they won't kick kick them out so like uh but when we went there they were like uh, oh yeah uh by when we close you know everyone has to leave so it was like uh okay like so we we got there by about well i got there a little bit earlier it was just before 2 30 or so and everyone else came there by like 2 45 so it was just like the the, the the woman there was just like oh uh you know you, you guys won't might not have enough time to like eat and whatnot just like it was just like oh man like like i wouldn't mind but like uh and but like the other people were just like i, I don't want to you know make my own food and just like that that's eh. Uh, like it's uh like i i i only been there once and that was for like a, a graduation dinner with like a couple of friends like i i, I want to bring the, the whole family but fortunately we couldn't do it and some of them didn't really want want to like uh, cook their own food just like uh yeah I, I guess so we had to go to another place so yeah there's that um uh, I did get a couple games. Um, I got a uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Yeah, I know, like a couple years too late, right? But just like uh, I, you know, I, I never, you know, I haven't played a Fire Emblem game since Awakening. So like, uh, I might do a first, no, not first twenty. No, that that's even <laughs> that's even plays kind of thing. I might do a of. No, uh, let's try it, uh, of this game to see, you know, how, how the game has changed since, you know, uh, Awakening. It's like, I've, I've heard good things about this. So, like, uh, like I, I've been hearing more good things about Three Houses than I've heard about uh, than Fire Emblem Engage. Just like, so, I mean, there was some controversy about the game, but uh, besides that, like, people's people says some good things about so like i do want to try that out uh hopefully i can try it out this week or so 
uh just just seeing how things work out um i also got a uh, mega dimension neptunia v2 or seven I, th I think it's called v2 uh there's that like i did have the original digital version but like i'm a physical collector so i was just like yeah uh you, you can get me this that'd be pretty cool so yeah i got that and then uh other people got me some uh, ultraman stuff ultraman and uh anime i got uh well they're all uh super eye protection stuff so i got um s s s s uh that dynat and i also got uh wait, let me just check here uh i got the uh ultra galaxy monster mega monster battle new never ending odyssey and ultra galaxy uh the movie set and the ultraman zero the chronicle set so that is pretty awesome uh what else what else um uh got a gift card that's something too and uh yeah i i think that's uh oh and i did get um Yakuza 6, so I've got basically the entire uh, PlayStation 4 uh, Yakuza uh, games. So, yay! Well, uh, RGG Studio games. So, yeah, there's that. And speaking of RGG Studios, like, <laughs> right before I started uh, this podcast, I was about to record my reaction to the, um, the Like Dragon uh, Direct, which is, you know, unintended direct before like a dragon but i read misread the time wrong because it said uh september 19th at 9 p.m pt so i was looking at my clock i was like oh it's like uh so 9 p.m pt is midnight for me because i'm in the east coast and then you know uh september 19th which is coincidentally now but what i totally forgot that it is it is worse than time, so 12 p.m. 12 a.m. for me is the 19th, but 9 p.m. Uh, Pacific time is 18th. So I was like, I was waiting for like, oh, I like I came home early because I was at um I was at locals preparing myself for like this direct, but when like uh, when midnight comes around and like nothing shows, I was like, wait, what's going on? I realize that no, it's for on the following day. So I'm recording at midnight now. So later on, well, basically like 24 hours from now, I'm gonna be recording the reaction to uh, Like a Dragon Gotten, Like a Dragon Direct. So I was basically a day off. And, you know, it, that, that's why you gotta put your time and days, you know, for like, oh, like, especially like, it's like a. Uh, North American kind of thing just like uh, yeah place the dates you know for Eastern Western dates because that is you know time time differences is there you know there there's there are time differences if you're putting it at 9 p.m. PDT that is literally the following day for the East Coast so we're just like come on <laughs> so yeah that that I, I would say that is on me. That is on me. I didn't pay attention to the time and all that stuff. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I literally wait. I could have been record. I could have been recording this, like, like since I came home at like ten or something like that. So, yeah, this this is gonna be like a late night recording. <laughs> but uh, at least I'm prepared for for basically later today. <laughs> so yeah um uh, i i really hope you know at this like a dragon direct they'll announce the physical release for like a dragon gaiden because i already pre-ordered them um, the asian import uh from uh baby games plus so uh if that is if they don't announce it uh at this direct uh at least i got my uh physical copy uh secured so that's something but if not, I can just ask for a return and I'll just get it in the in the store credit. So either way, uh, please, Sega, 
if you're watching this, uh, please release the physical version of this in the West. We need this. We need this, please. <laughs> uh, but yeah, what else happened? Uh, Nintendo Direct happened this past week, as well as the state of play, which happened literally on the same day, a couple of hours from each other. And I'll say that the state, uh, state play was not that good. It was, I think it was like just about 20 minutes and like barely 10 games or so. Like, like if like comparing to like Sega Play to like Nintendo Direct, how like Nintendo was able to put so many games within 40 minutes, whereas just like 20 minutes, like you only get like 10 games or so. And they spend like three minutes like on like a game or so. Like the first game that they showed off was like um, it was a uh, Benefati's new game, uh, Baby Steps. I was just like, what the heck is this? This is so weird. I'm not really interested in this. Just like, but after I seen like you know, oh yeah, it's by Benefati, and I had a feeling like it was made by Benefati because just like how it was moving, just like, yeah, this kind of feels like his kind of game. But like, so yeah, uh, it it, it really felt like. Only two games was like like the most like uh, stand out for me, and it was a uh, Tales of the, the DLC expansion for Tale uh, Tales of the Arise, Tales of Arise, uh, called Beyond the Dawn, yeah, and then uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which that was really awesome. So literally, out of that entire twenty minutes, only two games was like really that interesting to me. So yeah. Sony really has to work on like, hey, here are some interesting games for everyone to play, you know, and like, uh, I think like a whole bunch of them were games that we already seen before. Like, I think the Hell Divers was one of them. Uh, I, I, Ghost Runner Two, I think was also a thing there, but like, I, I can barely remember of. Uh, like what's on there because like it, it was not interested to me at all it was not interesting however on the nintendo side like yo, i was pretty excited for that despite being like at 10 o'clock in the morning <laughs> uh i did enjoy like all the games that well not all the games a majority of the games that that was shown off like uh if i can just pull it up on my phone uh let's see here uh so uh there was a uh, another code that was that was pretty interesting uh the story amiibo yes yes absolutely and of course paper mario and thousand year door that is something that people wanted for a long time you got finally got a remake on that so that is you know like more impressive well th those are you know just the reactions i posted on the on the channel uh, which you guys should probably really subscribe to subscribe to the main channel power G show links will always be in the description below But yeah, like overall like I did enjoy like the state of play. I mean not state of play. Oh, no <laughs> I did enjoy the Nintendo Direct more than the state of play so yeah uh, uh, So hopefully the next state of play or the PlayStation showcase whichever those may be hopefully it'll be better because just like the same place just keeps on disappointing me I'm not gonna lie that's why i don't upload majority of my reactions to it like i might i might like upload like a like a highlight of it but like the entire thing uh probably not heck there's even like a couple of times where i just like haven't uploaded anything from the same place because it was just that bad <laughs> so uh man ho hopefully next time you know just like it it'll be a bit better hopefully uh besides uh, that um at work i got a uh, i got a uh, social of the week that, that's something uh that doesn't involve a uh, raise or anything but uh acknowledgement that yes we do notice your work and just like but you really don't it, it really it took you more than half the year since you started this uh associate program to like hey you you really knows my work really you, you haven't like noticed all the struggles i've been putting through this at this job just like yay and they they put my photo on there but just like a photo from like two years ago 
where I'm wearing like a mask and all that stuff and he came and see my face it's just like wow okay you could you guys couldn't even ask me to like hey do you want can you take a new pictures for us to use you know that that, that would have been great but uh uh yeah um that that happened so uh hopefully you know maybe i'll get sochi of the month sometime maybe <laughs> uh so yeah uh Besides all that, why don't we get right into the news? And as always, please check out uh, the site uh, Persona Central. Uh, they they are the ones pushing all these these awesome news. Links will links of all the articles that we see in this of uh, in this uh, news uh, will be in the description below. So please check them out. Uh, follow them on uh, Twitter facebook youtube all their social medias so please do that please 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 <laughs> you know, so, so support them so you know hey they, they're doing this for free i think they're doing this for free. i know i'm not sure if they're being paid or not but please please support them this portion of the podcast is sponsored by you the patrons on patreon.com slash cafe podcast as low as three dollars a month you can support me and the podcast with benefits such as exclusive posts early access to the podcast no in-video ads, your name scrolling in the video, and much more. So please consider supporting your boy over at patreon.com slash cafe podcast. And now back to the show. So uh first news of the day, uh we're gonna talk about uh Persona 5 Tactica a little bit. So uh, Persona 5 Tactica mini live recording to be held on October 4th, 2023. Alice says uh, announced that they will be recording a mini live performance featuring the songs from Persona 5 Tactica on October 4th. This recording will be released at a later date. The concert will feature Toshiki Konishi of the Alice Sound Team and composer for Persona 5 Tactica as a guitarist alongside other band members from the Persona 5 Persona Live concert, not Persona 5. <laughs> the Persona 5 vocalist Lin will also feature. Six songs will be performed in total. Uh, 150 people will be invited to the to view the recording, with recruitments held by lottery. Applicants can be made here. Attendees will be prohi prohibited from filming or sharing the content of the performance on social media. So, uh, uh yeah, I guess that's a kind of typical thing. But I'm guessing like they might have something secret to show during the uh, the show, so that's might also be a thing. But uh, hey, if you're in um, if you're in the area, you can you know apply to do this. You know that'd be kind of cool. You know, uh, I wish I could do that, but uh, unfortunately not. So um, yeah, so October fourth. So that's a little bit over uh over a month away from the release date. So. I was thinking like oh they might put something out from this like into the game i was thinking like oh a live recording well what's that gonna be like like actual recording of the game or something like that but no it's uh, more like a recording of a song so yeah i was i was, was kind of hoping oh just a, a little bit more just a little bit but uh i wonder how long like the actual thing will actually oh uh so it actually says right here so uh about uh two hours uh from uh that should be uh so from 7 to 9 p.m i believe yeah so doors open at his okay, so door is open at seven the performance starts at seven to, and at to, and at nine so like why not have the doors open at like you know uh at six or like 6 30 so people can go go in and prepare themselves then start at nine i mean start at seven and then end at nine you know i mean that that seems like my, my logic seems kind of sound right i mean hey i mean if it's not it's not but uh you no know, just it seems like oh yeah we're immediately starting as soon as you know the doors open but uh hey who, who am i I'm, I'm not alice i'm not sega but uh yeah, uh, so I'm guessing the songs will be from uh, P5T exclusively. 
or maybe you know a little bit a little uh, more songs from other games you know as like an on encore kind of thing perhaps so uh, yeah uh i think that that's uh, you know kind of cool thing they'll probably be like uh uh i was thinking like oh maybe this will be a bonus for you know uh the game you know you might get this you know if you pre-ordered the game you get this uh a uh, live uh live recording here but uh, i guess not i think that they're gonna need more than a month to like probably edit it all together you know but um who knows who knows w what are you guys predictions on you know like uh the the mini live recording happening in japan you know leave your comments down in the comment section and uh you know let us know so go on to the next article so got Persona 1 to release on Steam in September 29th. So that's just about 10 days from this recording. So uh, following the, its release on Nintendo Switch, Gmode has announced that the mobile phone game uh, Persona 1 uh, will be released on Steam on September 29th. And the Steam page is now live. Uh, yeah, so Gmo Archive is, is a series of re-releases of mobile titles for Switch and PC. And uh, Archives Plus refers to third party titles not originally developed by Gmo. I actually haven't pulled up this page here. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, it is really weird that they they do like just the mobile version of it and not just like a. Uh, and, and not just, you know, the actual PS1 version. And you guys think about, you know, try to play this game? Nope, because no English language. So that kind of sucks, but maybe there'll be a mod for this, you know, you can buy the game and then just, hey, download it, download the mod, put it onto the game and hey, you can play. But uh, that that might be, uh, I mean, it might happen. It might not it just depends on, you know, if there are people who are willing to do this kind of thing. But uh, just, uh, you know, Alice, you know, I mean, it would be great, Alice, if you could do like a, a remake for this game for everyone to play. I mean, that'd be pretty cool, right? No, we don't have to, like, why the mobile version of all things, you know? Just like, I mean, we do have the, PP, the, the PSP version, and then we have the PS1 version, you know, like, either one of those would, I feel like would be better than the... The mobile version but then again i haven't played the mobile version so i might be just talking out my butt here uh if you guys know how like the mobile version went with the persona one please let me know because again i have no idea i have no experience uh playing that version or i haven't even heard anyone play this version so yeah please let me know uh well, what's the overall consensus on uh on this yeah leave me in the comment section down below so next up, uh, we got uh, some, uh, yeah, TGS. Uh, so we got to Persona 3 Reload and Persona 5 Tactica Dance Shows. So, uh, yeah, uh, I was about to say, uh, there was one at, at a, uh, it was at a concert. And yeah, I think it's, it's pretty cool seeing, you know, kind of dance shows ha happening. I haven't really seen one myself, but uh, uh, let's see, let's see. So Alice has announced that as a part of their Tokyo Game Show 2023 present, they will be holding dance shows based off Persona 3 Reload and Persona 5 Tactica. So I'm guessing, you know, obviously people can be dressed up as, um, you know, characters from the from the games. So I'm guess maybe they might, you know, uh, bring back the dancers who are part of the... Uh, from the concert from 2017 perhaps and then uh anyone else who anyone else to be the persona 3 characters so uh, this will form a uh, part of uh this will form part of sega's tgs fan time shows uh the shows will feature dancers who perform motion captures of persona 5 persona dancing games and have appeared at persona 5 persona live concerts. okay so yeah uh these are the motion capture dances for for the games. Oh, that that, that is really cool. You know, they they're not just you know one and done. They're like so. Alice is like, hey, uh, you guys want to be part of a concert? Like, yeah, sure. Well, let's do this. That's you know actually that is really cool. I didn't know that. 
um they, they were the motion capture uh the performance camp captures for uh the dancing game so that's pretty nice that's pretty cool actually that reminds me when did the uh, the dancing games come out it's like that the photo was from 2017 so when did uh persona 5 dancing when did that come out uh 2018 but that might be that might just be the uh western release let me just see this uh yeah uh wait wait oh, wait yeah december 4th yeah i yeah it was in december uh Oh, May 2018 for Japan, worldwide in December. Yeah, it was one of those games where it's just like, yeah, it had a, a, a kind of long uh, release window between uh, you know, Japan and uh, Japan and worldwide. And yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that was not the dancing games. Three and five, more specifically, weren't that good dancing games. It was basically, <laughs> it was essentially like, just like, oh yeah, it's uh, I was you know, kind of, uh try to dance their hands out like oh hey how about a pokemon game that is dancing featuring persona you know so uh i'm guessing like uh the, the dance the the characters from 2017 were the motion captures that were released in 2018 for the dance games i'm guessing that right am i right am i right or am i wrong please let, let me know let me know i i I'm glad to be you know if I'm getting my you know uh my facts wrong or right so please let me know please <laughs> uh so continuing on from that uh the game featured and the dance shows will alternate depending on the date shows will last uh 10 minutes and perform four times a day the concert will not change between the shows oh okay so okay so it's not not, not about that bad only lasting 10 minutes you know, gives the performers time to rest and, you know, experience the TGS themselves. So, uh, old only once a day. Oh, wait. Uh, shows will last 10 minutes or will be four, four times a day. Okay, so 40 minutes in total. So, uh, so on the 21st, that's a uh, Persona 3 Reload date. So, four Persona 3 Reload shows. Then, uh, the 22nd is Persona 5, Tactica. So four Tactica shows, then 23rd, Persona 3 Reload, then 24th, Persona 5 Tactica. Uh, it, it would be kind of cool just like uh, if, you know, one of these was just like, oh, hey, uh, just like it'll either combine two of them, like combine three and five together or just do like, uh, you know, a unique show for that day. You know, that'd be that'd be pretty cool. Oh, and start times are uh, 11 30, 1 o'clock. Uh, that is 3 30, and that is uh, 4 30. Yeah. And then performers are Kazoo, uh, Natsumi Uitaka, Uitake, uh, Sukasa Shiroma, Asaki Smile, or, or is it Smile? I'm, I'm guessing it's Smile. I'm guessing it's Smile. Uh, Matsumoto Hinata. Uh, I, I, Ayumi, Ayumi, or Ayumi, I'm going to say I, Ayumi, uh, Mizaki, uh, UZ, or UZ, or Z, UZ, and then U Jury, okay, uh, some performers will only appear in Persona 3 Reload or Persona 5 Tactical Days, uh, Sega's, so uh, full fan time show schedule can be seen below all in jsc so yeah uh 21st this will basically be a wednesday for us wednesday night so we have reload at uh 11 30 to 11 40 so that's that's the show um okay then another one at you know, one so yeah it's, it's basically the same but uh not sure what's happening uh well, what's happening with the, the Lycan Dragon stuff? That's what I want to know. Okay, so then. Tactica Day, Reload Day, Tactica. Okay. Uh, Sega has pre 
previously released their full TGS lineup, uh, featuring playable de demos of P5T and P3R. Talk show will also be held on the 21st. TGS will be held on the 21st and through the 24th at uh, Makuhari Mese. So, yep. Uh, so, I it would be kind of cool for us to, you know, see uh, the performance ourselves. And I really wish that, you know, uh, Alice, Sega, whichever, like, would do, you know, uh, you know, Western releases for uh, the, the concerts, too. Like, you know, they have the, the capability to do this, you know, just like, oh, hey, uh, how about instead of, you know, only releasing the the concerts only in Japan, how about we do a worldwide release? You know, that'd be pretty cool. You know, they don't have to do, you know, a dub for this. Just add subtitles and, you know, we're good to go. Especially just like uh, if they're only doing like the concert stuff, you know, just add some the music subtitles and like uh, the subtitles to, uh, you know, if the singers are talking to the audience and whatnot and the announcers, you know, that's about it. But if they're also doing, you know, like some behind the scenes footage and all that stuff, yeah, it might take a little bit longer, you know, but I think it would, it would be worth it in the end because fans would, you know, uh, fans would, would buy this. I would definitely buy uh, one of these concert shows too. Like, uh, I bought, um, like a Hatsune Miku uh, Magical Mirai Blu ray like a couple of years ago, and I didn't even know, like, uh, there was a, a Hatsune Miku, uh, uh, Blu-ray concert show, and I was just like, I'm, I'm gonna buy this because I didn't even know it, it was happening. And speaking of uh, like Hatsune Miku, like, uh, like, because when I saw like, oh, it's a dance show, it is, you know, by Alice. Alice has uh, done P4 dancing. P4 dancing has Hatsune Miku. Hatsune Miku is by you know Sega, and well, the games are by Sega. But like yeah it all goes wraps into this but like uh if you guys don't know know like uh uh Hatsune Miku's having you know uh, there's gonna be a tour happening uh or around uh North America and uh yeah they're doing concert in uh Florida next year and I was able to give myself a ticket to see that just like yes baby let's go and not like I was very disappointed like the first couple of days of trying to like get myself a ticket because Crunchyroll, they said that, oh, you will be emailed a code so you can get access to the to the premium like pre-sale tickets. They did not send any. They did not send any emails and the code that they use and they use anyone can use it as long if they know it. So like literally on that first day, like I, I did not know the code. And I couldn't be able to like input it because it was just like there was no place to put the code. So just like, what do I do here? What? How? How do I? How do I get my tickets? Because I could have gotten that a long time ago, and there was no way to do that. Like on that same day, like I tried, I tried contacting uh control support. They they got back to me that the Sunday. So from Thursday to Sunday. I, I was not able to, you know, get, you know, get any tickets or anything like that. Like, how, how was I supposed to, like, know, like, all this stuff, you know, like, there, there was no information about this. Like, I went to the comments of, like, the, uh, like, the day of, like, the tickets are open. You said, oh, yeah, the code to, uh, you know, to the pre-sale tickets is X here. Uh, I tried to find a way to input it, but there's no way. Uh, so... Yeah, like, uh, it wasn't until, like, a couple of days later where just, like, oh, there's finally a place where I can put in the, um, the, uh, the code. And why did that? Oh, no tickets available. Sold out. That is absolutely great. So, early today, today as in Monday, uh, I woke up a little bit early because I was told that, oh, yeah, uh, more pre-sale tickets will be coming out today. So I was like, okay, uh, I'll do that. I put in, went to the site where it's supposed to go, uh, type in the code and nothing. Didn't no no tickets whatsoever. There was only like a seats for like a handicap and the handicap companions. So it was just like, I can't get those tickets. So yeah. 
and apparently there was a completely different code that that's supposed to work i didn't even know that, about that like i i found out about it like after like later on in the day like a couple hours later and just like wow like you guys couldn't even like give us an email about that either so wow thanks country roll for you know being very good about that so just like i i actually went to like uh i typed in like miku expo like the twitter user just like i scroll down and just see oh hey uh they retreated something from control like wow like the pre-sale was so big we decided to bring to uh, open it on the 18th again i didn't even see that tweet like come on like like this should be like you know like an email kind of thing you guys should be like you know letting the people know about this like sooner but like what sucks is that like oh now anyone with a code is far now knows they can get it and it's far more active so it's just like oh uh, man so yeah like uh i couldn't get like the tickets like i woke up at nine like 9 15 i immediately try like okay refresh type in the code nothing nothing else up until like about 11 something i then called up uh the venue to see like hey uh is there any tickets available for uh miku expo and fortunately the guy was like oh yeah we do have a couple tickets left we got uh you know like uh got this uh the price ranges to from like 50 dollars to about 160 so it's like what's the min middle range price so like oh yeah there is a there's like 90 dollar 89 dollar price uh tickets so just like i'll take it because like it's it's right in the middle it's not too far in the back it's not up close in the middle where it's like super expensive not up close to the f stage where it's like super expensive so it's just like right in the middle that that should be you know perfect right so it's just like yes my hard work has paid off <laughs> hot name miku i will finally meet the hot state miku in 2024 <laughs> i know she's not real i understand that but th this is actually my first going to my first concert too now why me going to concert like actually attending a concert like i've been to like a universal as um you know as a graduation you know thing for like uh seniors in like high school and i remember i think it was trey songs who was there but i didn't actually go to the concert area like i saw it from afar so it was just like i'm not counting that this will be my first actual concert that i'm going to and i will enjoy it <laughs> I'm going to give myself the, you know, the, the, the light pan, pants like, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I'm playing, playing, have, have fun, fun there. Like, I tried to get my other friend who was also, like, a fan of, uh, Atsun Miku and all the art, artists. Uh, fortunately, like, it seems like he couldn't get a ticket, but, uh, seems like, a general, uh, general tickets will be available this coming friday so hopefully he can get himself some tickets you know be cool to have you know another, another person come with but uh it, we'll just see you know how, how things will go from from there uh so yeah going to uh <laughs> i'm going to be confess my 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 i'm like this is like like besides this, like the next happiest thing that happened, just like uh, well before this, just like oh, I finally pulled Modernia from uh in Nikkei, just like uh, because uh, if you guys don't know what Nikkei is, it's basically uh, it's a mobile game, and I've been playing it like nonstop since um, well almost nonstop. Like I started playing it like since day one, but like I've been uh. I haven't really started going into it until like early like the beginning of this year or like in february or so because like i'm still like iffy on like the game so like i wasn't like that i wasn't paying attention so much to like the game but like now i've been just like playing every day trying to get as far as i can and today i just like uh like the game's about like oh hey like it's like a uh, you got your uh army of 
girls who are part machine with either big moves, big butts, both or none, depending on the girl. And you fight these machines and all that stuff. And Modernia, she is basically like literally the top like uh, character to pull from the game. And I was just like, I need, I need to get this, please let me pull her. And I swiped up, the pulls came in. There was one glowing uh, golden one, so I got that SSR. And what was it? Was Modernia? I jumped up and down, it's like yes, yes, I finally got her, yeah. <laughs> so it was just like yeah, that, that that was a happy time. So like. This was my next happiest time. <laughs> like, I'm going to see Miku. So, yeah, yeah. I, I know I got a little, little tangent, but just like, you know, hey, I'm, I'm going to be happy for, for, you know, what's going to be happening in the future. So, yeah, yeah. Just like in May. So, we're just, we're eight months away from, from meeting Miku. I'm going to try to do a vlog there if possible, but if not, yeah. I mean, hey, we can do Migri there if you guys are if you guys want. So, yeah. Hey guys, this episode is sponsored by Dubby. Dubby is a clean energy drink that's made to give you focus with no crash, jitters, or inks like other energy drinks. I just got myself the Dubby sample pack, which comes with this little tumbler, and also comes with four flavor packs. You've got the peach and beach, or beach and peach. <laughs> Comes with the dub squat sludge. My man, sludge. I'm reading it backwards. <laughs> oh, then we got the dragonade. I should probably look at it first, then do a thing. And then the galaxy grenade. So we're gonna try one of these today, and uh, I'll, I'll tell you how, how I honestly think about it. All right, let's try one of these out. Um, let's go with Beach and Peach. Let's try this out. All right, so currently right now we have the peach and beach. It's a mango white peach cooler. So we're going to try out a uh, smell first. Okay, it, it smells pretty good. I, I will say it smells better than the last one I tried, but the previous one was so good. But time for the taste test. Let's go. That, that's good. That is. Okay, of course, there's gonna be like a little powdery, but overall, like, the taste is pretty good. I, I do like this, uh, peach and beach. Not bad flavor, not bad flavor at all. I might get the full tub. Might have to get the full tub of this. It's not bad at all. If you guys want to try out the samples shaker yourself or buy any of the products on Dubby, make sure to use my coupon code PowerJ at checkout to save uh, 10% on your order. So again, that's PowerJ at checkout for 10% off your order. Now, back to the video. So yeah, my little tangent about Miku and all that stuff. So let's go over to something that is Alice related, but kind of slightly. Alice is publishing this. So uh, this happened during uh, the Nintendo Direct. And was it Nintendo Direct? Uh, yes, I believe it was. So Unicorn uh, Overlord announced for March 8th, 2024 uh, by Alice and published by Alice, but developed by Vanillaware. So yeah, uh, Vanillaware's new game. Uh, people really liked uh, 13 uh 13 sentinel sentinels and uh just to be transparent i did review the game the game was uh, given to me by alice so uh yep just full transparency there uh i thought the game 13 sentinels was all right that was my first uh well actually no 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 I, i'm i i don't want to lie i actually did play a vanillaware game it was uh Dragon's Crown. Yeah, I did play Dragon's Crown. I did not beat it, but I did play Dragon's Crown. 
So, yeah, I did play a Vanillaware game before 13 Sentinels. I just remember that. But, uh, yeah. 13 Sentinels, I thought it was alright. Some of the story stuff I just didn't care for about certain characters. Like, I, I, I didn't care for that. I, I want to know more about, you know, like, all this stuff going, you know, you know, putting all together and all that stuff and the game was sort of you know like uh it was center like change a bit because because stuff but it, it, overall it was all right i wouldn't say like oh it's the best thing ever you know all that stuff like people are saying it's a good game i found it all right it's it's not that that all hype that people say it's to be so, so b besides that uh this game is uh, to me to me it doesn't seem my my cup of tea either so well let's just go over it a little bit so four years ago a new vanilla project was teased through 13 sentinels ages of rim prologue uh today uh during the Nintendo direct the uh, september 2023 the game has been officially revealed as unicorn overlord for uh march 8 2024 uh the game will be released on Switch, PS4, PS5, and Xbox Series X and S. Uh, another uh, Vanillaware title in collaboration with Alice, Unicorn Overlord is a fantasy strategy RPG with forces a good, good take on the great evil. It features Vanillaware's high definition graphics, characters, and a flexible field to explore. An innovative tactic combat. Uh, Unicorn Overlord will feature English, German, French, Spanish, and Italian language support. Uh, director George uh, Kamitani previously said that Unicorn Overlord is one of Vanilla's Ware's biggest titles created. So the description is, fight against the fate and embark on a role adventure to regain your reign in the timeless Unicorn Overlord. From the creators of 13 Sentinels Ages Rim, Unicorn Overlord combines overall world exploration and an innovative battle system in the, in the iconic Vanilla Ware style. Traverse the vibrant world uh, cultivate a grand army with over 60 distinct characters and grow your renown throughout your renown hmm. that, 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 that doesn't sound right to me but uh oh, okay uh throughout five nations in this epic fantasy experience uh, liberate your kingdom and reclaim your destiny unicorn overlord will launch on march 8 2024 and a uh, new information will for the game will be announced during Alice's uh, TGS event. Yep, on the 20th. So basically today. And the official Japanese website is out with the English one there. So uh, yeah, I thought, you know, uh, I can just play this a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, uh, I thought it, it looks all right. But just like the gameplay is just not for me, I'll say. Um, like it looks cool. It does. Like I do like Vanillaware's art style, but like um, yeah, just seeing like this combat just like not really for me. Like. Yeah, it's it's basically a tactics tactics game, but I don't know. Like it feels like it's a a lot more complicated than it looks. So like, uh, if I, the closest thing I, I I feel like I could compare it to like would be you know like Fire Emblem because it's also a tactics game, but. Uh, that's barely that's about it like it, it it feels a bit just too much to me and also like uh, it seems like there is like a uh more of like a you know like a a daily life sim to this like similar to like uh what uh fantasy life or something like that Or like uh well what's another game like a uh, story of seasons something like that that kind of stuff I'm not really into so uh I don't know like it, 
just from from the trailer like it, it doesn't seem like a thing for me personally it, uh, i feel like it could be you know uh it, i think gameplay sure should look somewhat uh what am i trying to say um i just don't think like the gameplay is for me i i think that, that that's just the gist of it the, the gameplay doesn't it's not for me so yeah so couple of gameplay uh screenshots here like the art style it looks cool i do like it like it feels a slight different from um from like uh, games like uh was like odin sphere or um dragon's crown even 13 sentinels like it feels like more like it feels less like watercolory and more like just more i don't know like pastel i guess uh oh, i'm not sure then uh there's a limited edition uh so the monarch edition so it has a well for japan uh so deluxe box uh 16 bit arranged music album on two cds uh produced by a, a bossy scape uh, an art book uh with character illustrations backgrounds concept art and uh over oh with a uh, 132 pages okay that's pretty good uh card game a, a completely original card game created by vanillaware and can be played with two to four people and the physical game itself cool uh the limited edition will also be released in the west so a standard edition a collector's edition uh with the physical game premium box 16-bit soundtrack uh, the cds the art book and the card games okay with uh, uh tokens and markers okay uh so i think the tokens and markers are a new thing for the uh for the english one and we've got a first print bonus to this okay uh those who purchase the first print of copies or pre-order the game digital version will get a dlc that allows players to customize their army's flag with emblems of the orange fear dragon's crown or 13 sandals room or aegis room okay so uh, yeah uh, odin's fear uh dragon's crown 13 sandals yeah i was like uh i don't remember i don't i don't recall you know the rabbit but i definitely remember the uh, the fairies there and yeah the cat and the robot from uh 13 sandals okay and then we have uh this looks like might be either the game icon or probably the box art uh yeah it looks like the box art right here uh so this might just be the box art itself so yeah uh and uh third uh not 13 sandals unicorn overload it might not be the game for me but it might be the game for you uh if this game or like uh this game's on amazon uh i'll probably link in amazon i'll the link down in the description below as well as you know for uh persona 5 tactica and persona 3 reload any i'll try to leave you know any games you guys uh, see on here uh, uh if it's available on amazon i'll probably put an amazon feeling link there so and to be transparent you know if you guys use the link you know buy something on that i do get a, a portion of, of the proceeds so it's not a lot but like i do get like some some part it just depends on the game so yeah so the last article we got is yep. tokyo game shows 2023 i was media briefing video to release publicly on september 20th okay so last month alice has announced they will be holding a media briefing in tokyo for september 2023 showing a special screening of persona 3 the movie one featuring information from the upcoming Alice games. Today, Alice has announced that the, a video of this media briefing will be released to the public via the company's YouTube channel the same day it takes place. The event will feature Persona 3 Reload and Persona 5 Tactica. This media briefing will also uh, feature follow-up information on the newly announced strategy RPG, Unicorn Overload. No new titles will be announced at this event. Okay. So yeah, they're, they're gonna be showing, you know, a media briefing uh whatever that is uh it should be happening today perhaps because it's it's already 20th and i think it's 20th in japan uh let me just 
uh check the world clock on my phone uh japan it is uh no no it's, it's still the 19th so we're still on the current day uh just 2 p.m currently so probably in a couple hours uh after like you know after the day rolls over in japan we'll probably see that so uh let's see uh 5 a.m uh no oh, okay so it's happening on the 20th so 5 a.m on the 20th uh wait. it should be 5 a.m pdt and an 8 a.m edt yeah i gotta, gotta fix that you know uh person essential now i'm kind of central person central i've been seeing you know your mistakes you know i know you're human but you know you also gotta get you know some humans to double check some things okay you know you just gotta check them you know I get these, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, grammar mistakes, spelling mistakes. I, I do them too. I do them too. I do that a bunch of times. Even when I'm talking, I make some mistakes. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh, hopefully, you know, this media briefing will be, uh, uh, something cool. Hopefully something, you know, like it's, you know, new information, new information. Uh, but, uh, this is hmm. also this is gonna be featuring a uh, unicorn overload, so that's something. So this is happening uh, before uh, TGS starts, so literally the day before TGS. Um, hmm. I wonder what, what they might show, you know, we, because uh, latest trailer from uh the last trailer if we have a percent three reload shows, you know, basically the rest of the characters. Uh, Ken, I guess, Shinjiro, uh, Karamaru, okay, so they show them, so probably, you know, this thing for this media briefing, we might see a little bit of, uh, Stregum, perhaps, who knows, but, uh, we do have one last article, but, uh, Persona Central hasn't really posted it, uh, we do have the confirmation of their next, uh, Persona 3, uh, reload trailer. So this is on the uh, Persona, uh, I think this is Morgana's, uh, Morgana's, um, Persona, not nah, Twitter, but, uh, it says here, uh, everyone, how are you doing? Tomorrow, uh, September 20th, Wednesday at 6 p.m., we'll be releasing the latest trailer for Persona 3 Reload. Whoops, uh, uh, you're not, uh, I'm still not ready for uh, TGS. I'm pretty sure Waga High means m myself as terms of like a kind of like a royalty kind of thing. Waga High, because I think uh, like a La Laplace Darkness uses that as well. So we do have confirmation that uh, Persona 3 Reload, we're getting a new trailer at 6 p.m. on uh, in Japan. So uh, this is happening. Uh, let's see. So four hours. That would be eight o'clock. So two hours before the meeting, uh, the, the briefing, we're going to be seeing a uh, Persona 3 Reload the trailer. And this looks very interesting. <laughs> Mitsu's eyes are red. So, oh, I, I wonder what, what we'll see of Mitsu from here. Like, this got to be something completely brand new. Like, I don't even like, well, what moves could she use for, uh, for like, during this moment? Or could she possibly be possessed, you know? I mean, that could happen, you know, but, uh, you know, this is pretty awesome. Uh, we're, we're getting a new trailer. Uh, actually, let me just see, uh, when's the next full moon? Cause I mean, they, they did say like, oh, Hey, new full moon, uh, new trailers every full moon. So, uh, next full moon. Uh, oh, okay. It says September 29th is the next full moon. Uh, so could we see two trailers this month? I mean, who knows? Like they're nine nine days apart, so I mean, it could happen. It could happen. But like you know, Alice does have a thing of like, uh, hey, we're releasing so many trailers at once, and you know, so, some trailers might have nothing. Some trailers have you know a lot of things in them. Oh, you know, just like uh, it's kind of how they do things. Just like uh. Just like we, we just don't know you know what, what they might have but I, I am very excited to see what trailer we should see 
Uh, I think it should be. I think it's sh well, 13 hours ahead, so it should be about of uh, four five a.m. Uh, four five a.m. on Wednesday. So that that's probably when uh, we're gonna see this. So yeah, huh? Is uh actually wait? Yeah, yeah. Cause just make sure the time. Just like uh. And actually, I'm very surprised that, um, like, uh, with Google Translate, like, it translates the, the 18 hours here into 6 p.m. So, the, I, I never actually realized it, it, it would do that. So, that's pretty cool. So, from Wednesday, we're going to be seeing two, possibly, trailers from, uh, about Persona. Persona 3, Persona 5, both. So... That that is pretty cool. That is really nice. Uh but then again we might see, you know, some more stuff over uh TGS. We don't know. But I I I want to get my hopes up. It's not gonna lie, like they're they're really like laying out the cards here, just like okay, here's what we're having out. Uh this, this is what we have, this is what we're showing. We might surprise you. Maybe. Who knows? They're not saying that they're they're gonna show something. But hey, we can, you know, just keep a little bit of hopes up that we might see something. But, uh, again, who knows what will happen. But, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, n not much in terms of, like, you know, a lot of news for the past two weeks. Uh, they, they've, I've had, I didn't really think, you know, they were much good stuff. I mean, uh. To talk about like uh 13 sentinels is part of a uh, playstation plus uh premium and extra stuff it's just like yeah that's a thing but uh yeah not, not much in terms of like you know actual like news and stuff like that you know so some big stuff uh but like uh, if there were some stuff that i miss uh please let me know in the comment section down below because uh i might i might cover that um on the next episode so like who, who knows um again uh tgs is happening this week big stuff could be announced big stuff might not be announced it's all up to chance it's all up to atlas just like to surprise us you know because like uh it's like we already know like the upcoming games you know three reload five tech uh, we have um uh metaphor metaphor is happening in 2024 i doubt i doubt with metaphor we're gonna see anything until either after tactica comes out or after uh reload comes out because those are like the two games that you know that, that we know the most of so um yeah Metaphor is probably either mid, like summer or fall 2024 game, because they they're not gonna like start to like uh, advertise like Metaphor heavily until like after those two, one of those two games, one or both of the games comes out. Cause I see like it seemed like a, a post by someone on Reddit like be like. Oh, uh, why hasn't Atlas, uh, you know, did any trailers for Metaphor yet? Like, like, ha ha haven't they forgotten about Metaphor? And just like, bro, like, at the time of the post, like, it's been only been three months since Metaphor was revealed. Three months. Like, they, they're not gonna, like, start doing, you know, like, a bunch of marketing for Metaphor when... The two previous games that were announced at the same time as as metaphor hasn't even come out yet so like the best time to start advertising metaphor would be either after the first game comes out or the second game comes out so yeah it's just like are you really that impatient that you know like you you can't wait you know a couple more months for them to like release the game and then start doing the advertising it's just like come on and like they haven't even like done like uh, the pre-orders for for metaphor yet, so like 
why would they start you know advertising it so yeah uh so i think that's probably about it for this episode i know it's pretty short uh it's also pretty late it is one in the morning so i do want to try to tr try to edit this and you know make sure everything goes goes well also got pre be prepared for basically uh tomorrow slash days uh like a dragon gaiden so yeah i know it's like l later on the day but you know always gotta be prepared for that so yeah uh before we end this off uh do you want to thank the patrons for all your uh for your donations to the channel uh you guys you guys i i do i do want to show my appreciation thank you guys for uh for donating to the channel you guys you know your your work won't won't go go and uh won't go unnoticed all right so uh if you guys haven't uh please check out the patreon links will be down in the description below you guys can get uh this episode ad free on on patreon and uh you can also get your name uh scroll through the episode here so uh yeah uh thank you guys for watching uh please also make sure you guys check out persona central these guys you know posting all of these you know persona slash sega slash atlas really related news so please check them them out and yeah don't forget to uh, subscribe to the cathedral of velvet channel uh every subscriber is very awesome you guys are great uh if you guys are on audio don't forget to follow me on there uh, spotify apple google amazon podcast all those stuff uh please check them out and check out my main channel power g show links all links always in the description please check them out so yeah um thank you guys for watching and hopefully I will see you guys in the next episode of the Cathedral of Velvet podcast. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.